from Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's Newlyweds! This couple got happily hitched 11 months ago, Peaches and Donna Turner! Our next couple recited their vows 15 months ago, Candy and Abel Alvarez! This couple traded rings two months ago, Lisa Marie and Leah Perez! And our final couple celebrated their union two months ago, Tamara and Dana Shin! And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank! delightful couples today. You ready to play the game? Yeah! Then you know what, ladies? Do me a big favor. Go off, if you would, to our soundproof room. And while you're doing that, you may leave now, sir. And gentlemen, in round one, we'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you chalk up five points. Remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the girls are gone. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, which of these hot babe names will your wife say does the most to elevate your spirit and spark your interest? Muffy, <laughs> Raven, Candy, or Kitten? Which one, uh, which one elevates your spirit and sparks your interest? Uh, Dana? <laughs> it has to be Muffy. Muffy does. Yeah, because that's, I nickname her, um, uh, her, my, right. her okay, hey, Muffy. <laughs> Uh, would it be Muffy, say, Raven, Candy, or Kitten? I would have to say uh, probably Candy. Candy. That does it for you, huh? Yep. Okay, Donald. Uh, it would have to be uh, Kitten Bob. Kitten Bob. Oh, it's just Kitten. <laughs> <laughs> just Kitten Bob. Bob's not in here. All right. And I don't want to be in there either. I don't think... <laughs> Leo, would it be a Muffy, Raven, Candy, or Kitten? I'd have to say Candy. Candy. All right, next question, gentlemen. If your wife overheard some people describing something about her as gigantic... Exactly what part of her will she say they were talking about? <laughs> um, I would have to say, uh, without a doubt, her uh, chest. <laughs> her chest. For uh, gigantic. Yeah. Okay. Donald? Uh, her forehead, Bob. Her forehead. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love her, but um, yeah. the, uh, the, you know, the noggin is just, it's just there, Bob. It's her forehead, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I've noticed that my forehead keeps getting bigger as time goes on. <laughs> forehead. Leo. I'd have to say her chest. Her chest? Yeah. Gigantic. Gigantic. Yeah, see. yeah we, you don't have to show us. We don't. <laughs> Dana. Uh, right now, definitely, it'd have to be her stomach. Her stomach is gigantic. Yeah, she's, got a, she's having a baby. Oh, good. She's pregnant. So. All right. <laughs> It's not like he's the first one ever to become a father. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. Whose past love life comes up in conversations between you most often? Yours or your wife's? Donald? Uh, mine, Bob. Your past love life? Uh, yeah, I was a, kind of a roof-roof back in the day. <laughs> kind of a what, sir? Kind of a roof-roof, a little dog. Just, oh, a roof-roof? Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, I don't so think I you think were a little mom, dog. No, uh, no, dog. No, my, my past comes up a lot. So. Is that right? Yeah, it comes up a lot. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Leo? I'd say my wife. She, Your she wife's was, past love life. We yeah. bring that up a lot. Yeah, she was. Okay, Dana? Um, I would have to say... Look at that belt my... buckle, man. Looks like a hubcap on a pickup truck. <laughs> Close to it. Hey, you can have breakfast on that sucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your answer? Definitely mine. I have a couple of ex-wives from hell. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Abel? Uh, I'd say, I would have to say myself. Yours, yours. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite you. We'll see how our husbands are predicting what their wives will say. Right after these Gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. Boy, did we find out interesting things about you while you were gone, girls. If you're ready, ladies, first question. Which of these hot babe names would you say does the most to elevate your husband's spirit and spark his interest? Hot babe names. Would it be Raven, Candy, Kitten, or Muffy? Lisa Marie? 
I'd have to say Raven. Raven would spark his interest, huh? Yes. Hey, you know what he said? He said he's sparked by candy. <laughs> candy. 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 You always see kind of pieces. <laughs> I was I'm asking Raven, Candy, Kitten, and Muppy, and her name's Peaches. <laughs> I would say Candy, because I'm addicted to Candy, and he knows that. So Candy would spark his interest, all I right? He predicted candy. you would say that he's sparked with a kitten. Oh! oh. 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 Hey, my name is Peaches. That's closer to Candy. A kitten. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Well, Peaches has fuzz. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're talking about, you know, doing a lot of uh, research here. Uh, Candy, what would you say your answer is? Uh, I know, but it better be, and my name is Candy, so it better be Candy. He said it better be Candy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I figured I'd uh, take the safe route there. Yeah, you were real safe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you just said peaches, you might have been in trouble. <laughs> Tamra. Yes. I think I would have to say Raven. Raven's going to spark his interest. Raven? Yeah, no. What's the pet name for the Muffy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Muffy, yeah. No. Uh, oh, oh, my goodness. You should have seen Well, there's lots of different names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we go on to our next question? Now? <laughs> Ladies, if you ever heard some people describing something about you as gigantic, Exactly what part of you would you say that they were talking about? Peaches? <laughs> Gigantic? Yeah. I'd have to say my forehead. Forehead. <laughs> if you would say, card please. Donald, what'd you say? Forehead, yeah. That's why I always have the baby. Well, I love her, no, Bob. I love her. You know, well, of course big forehead. She's a beautiful woman. woman. <laughs> I mean, your forehead's going to get bigger. Yeah. 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 Okay, Raven? Uh, Candy? Uh, uh, kitten? Uh, Muffy? Just answer to anything, would you please? Okay, um, well, they look kind of smashed right here, but probably my chest. Your chest, all right. He predicted you would say probably it would be your chest. Yeah. <laughs> Say my chest, but seems like pregnant, my stomach. Your stomach. He predicted you would say your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa Marie. That's an easy one for me. My boobs. <laughs> well, I don't know what size she's going. Boobs. All right. He predicted you would say be your chest. Yes. You got it. All right. Next question, ladies. Ladies, whose past love life would your husband say comes up in conversation between you most often? Would it be your past love life or your husband's past love life? Comes up in conversation, Candy, most often. In conversation most often, yeah. it has to be his because he dated everybody that we worked with before he got to me. <laughs> he dated everybody at work? Everybody at work. He dated everybody. I didn't know about it before I yeah. started dating him or I probably wouldn't have, but yeah. Boy. He made his rounds. No kidding. <laughs> well, what, what kind of business was it? It was a department store. Oh, really? So he, he would take him in the back. Oh, he'd take him in the back. Checking out the stock, how we got it? All right. Well, you devil you. All right. Abel said that uh, it would be his love line. Yeah. <laughs> Tamara. Absolutely his love life. Really? How come? Just the exes. Right now we are going The exes? Yes. You know, he's got that big old belt buckle. You know what you call girls that follow guys who wear belt buckles? They're buckle, they're buckle bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me he had a lot of buckle bunnies? Yes. Really? Yes. Are you a buckle bunny? A lot of, no, I'm permanent. You're what? <laughs> I'm permanent. Oh, you're permanent. I ain't going I see. anywhere. All right. So it'd be his love life. That's right. He predicted you would say it's his love life. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Marie. I'd have to say Leo's past love life. Really? Pretty uh, pretty sensitive, was it? Um, I more humorous than mine. Oh, more humorous, I see. His ex girlfriends were uh, all right. all funny. His girl ex girlfriends were funny. Yeah. Hmm. Leo said that most of the time the conversation comes up, we're talking about uh, yeah, your love life. Oh, Lisa. We always talk about your no, funny looking girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> 
I say his love life. What's, did he pretty pretty extensive? No, I just think we're still feeling the consequences. So he was in the service. He was in the military. So I think his in love life. In every port kind of thing? <laughs> <I think so. laughs> no kidding. You rascal, you know. Hey. Hey. Donald said for sure it would be uh, his. Yeah, you got it. For baby off stage it's your turn to predict what they will say remember these are the big guys because you're so smart these are the 10 point questions tell me ladies what part of your husband's body will he say is so perfect that it should be featured in a museum kenny he would probably say his arms his arms are that perfect all right he thinks well he thinks they're perfect but they're not really no, no i didn't think no. that. Speeches. i would probably say his butt his butt <laughs> The Museum of Butts, okay? Lisa Marie. My husband has great legs. His legs? His legs are perfect. Really? Okay. Uh, Tamara? I'd have to say his legs. He's always talking about his tree trunk legs. His legs, okay? <laughs> Next question, ladies. The last time you and your husband made love, in which compass direction will he say your toes were pointing? <laughs> Peaches? I'd have to say north. North? <laughs> which way is that? That's up. Oh, I see. It's <laughs> Marie. I'm going to say south. South. Down south. Okay. <laughs> Tamara. I'm um, south. South? Yeah. Really? Candy. We're going to go ahead and go with south. What's this wee stuff? You got a frog in your pocket? Yeah. You about? <laughs> south. The okay, last of our 10 point questions. Ladies, have you created a perfume that smelled like your husband's last girlfriend? What will he say you would call that perfume? Lisa Marie? Smells uh, like his last girlfriend. What, what, what are you going to call it, perfume? Musty. Musty. Okay. <laughs> Tamara? Uh, smelly. Smelly. <laughs> Candy? Psycho. Psycho! Peaches? Stinky. Stinky! <laughs> okay, 25 point bonus question, ladies. What was the last physical exercise your husband will say he performed in your bedroom? Last uh, physical exercise, Tamara. Okay. Um, what did he do? Jumping jack. He did jumping jacks. Thank you, Candy. Push-ups. He did push-ups. Peaches? I'm going to go with push-ups. Push-ups. Lisa Marie? I'm going to have to say push-ups, too. Push-ups, too. All right, ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husband to compare answers. Right after these messages. Daytime is Plato's. couples have scored points to see how many more they can get because gentlemen we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say and remember these questions are now worth 10 points and here's our first one gentlemen what part of your body did uh, would you say is so perfect that it should be featured in a museum what part of your body is so perfect donald it should be featured in a museum bob you know uh, when i retire i think it needs to be put on parade my butt <laughs> proud to say my butt bob. you proud to say my butt your butt bob, okay? <laughs> Peaches said it would be uh, your butt bob, yeah! It'd be a big museum out there. <laughs> Abel! Um, I actually don't think it's much, but uh, she's always talking about my biceps, so I would have to Your biceps, biceps, all right. She predicted you would say it would be your arms, yeah! <laughs> Dana, what do you think your wife said? It speaks for itself. Definitely the butt, Bob. The butt, all right. She said it's definitely your hairy old legs. Oh, oh no, you can't. Hey. You always talk about don't your Don't hit legs. a mother to be. Yeah. <laughs> you always talk about your legs I thought legs you liked my butt. Big. Well, I, I do. Talk, that's why she married me. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I got a nice butt, Bob. I don't care. <laughs> now I'm hurt. <laughs> Ah, Leo, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right. That's okay, yeah. yeah. What do you think, Leo? I'd say, I'm going to say my nose. 
Your nose, let me see. Your nose? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, yeah. Your nose ought to be put in the museum. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, your nose? Yeah. Uh, Lisa Marie said, uh, no, it would be your legs that need to be put in the museum. Favorite. Yeah, legs. She said, yeah, perfect legs. You always talk about my nose, though. We're talking about the perfect part, not the worst part. <laughs> Uh, would you turn sideways, Lisa? Uh huh. This is what I figured. Next question, gentlemen. The last time you and your wife made love, in which compass direction would you say her toes were pointing? Abel? Um, I would say north. North. Yeah. Okay. North. North. What compass are you using? <laughs> South. Bottom. <laughs> no, but the way the bed is. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Which, which way is south? Well, from here I can tell you. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> My direction finder was definitely going north, so her toes were going south. Yes. She said south. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Leo, this is not every time. This is the last time you and your wife made love. In which compass direction would you say her toes were pointing? North. North. Mm -hmm. North, like to Bakersfield? <laughs> but yeah, north. I think Bakersfield. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, north. I don't know what direction we're in. Which way is north from here? Nah, I think that way. Oh, that way. <laughs> yeah. Up there, okay. She said her toes were pointing south. He wasn't paying attention to my toes, obviously. <laughs> well, <It's> true. <laughs> Donald, this is your chance to pick up some points. South. South. She said her toes were going north. <laughs> north. North. Sweet. Up. 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 North. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't in the bed with me. Next question. <laughs> Gentlemen, if your wife created a perfume that smelled like your last girlfriend, what would you say she would call that perfume? Dana, it smells like oh, your last oh, girlfriend. No. I don't know if I can say this on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor, say something you can say on TV. Here. Can I say? Hey. <laughs> Bitch number three, I guess. <laughs> number three, you can say. Number one, you can't say, okay? okay. She said she'd go and be called smelly. <laughs> smelly. Oh, good answer. I yeah. wanted to say that too. What are you calling? I I know, but I didn't know if I could say that on TV. Yeah, it's on TV, is it? No, huh? No, this is. <laughs> Leo, is right she's developing a perfume, and she's going to name it after your last girlfriend. What's she going to call it? Ugly perfume. Ugly. She said she would call it musty. Musty. <laughs> <laughs> Donald. <laughs> um, skunk Bob. Skunk Bob. Skunk Bob. All right. She said she'd call it stinky. No, it's close, no. but it doesn't work. No. I mean, his feet are stinky. <laughs> Abel. Um, I have to go with uh, funky, probably. Funky, all right. Funky. Yeah, no, she said she would call that perfume psycho. <laughs> all right, before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon forever. You're going to beautiful Jamaica. <laughs> Your stay at beach is the ultra all-inclusive active resort for everyone, singles, families, and couples too. Part of the Sandals Resort family, these island paradises offer luxurious accommodations, gourmet dining, entertainment for adults and kids, and so much more on beaches where everything is included for everyone. And round trip airfare is provided by Air Jamaica, non-stop champagne flights on the newest plate in the Caribbean, red carpet check-in, and complimentary beverages on every flight. Air Jamaica, back to you, Bob. All right, John, thank you very much. Let's find out who's going to Jamaica, man. 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, what was the last physical exercise you performed in your bedroom? I'm looking for a traditional physical exercise you performed in your bedroom. Let's go to couple number one. Leo and Lisa Maria, 525 and give you 30. What's your answer, Leo? Push-ups. Push-ups. She predicted you would say push-ups. Yeah. Okay. Couple number two. Donald Peaches with 20, 25. Gives you 45. Take over the lead, Donald. Um... Push-ups, Bob. Push-ups. She said it would be push-ups. <laughs> Couple four, Dana and Tebra. 20, 25, puts you into a tie for the lead. Dana. Well, I was on the bottom, so I have to say set-ups. Set-ups. All right. She predicted you would say 
Jumping Jacks. <laughs> Couple number three, Abel and Candy with 25. 25 gives you 50. Get it right, you and your wife are going to Jamaica. Um, I'm going to go with Sips. Sips. She said it would be push ups. That means a couple number two. <laughs> John Pizza. John, you're the fucking grand prize winner. Thanks to all of our couples, and thanks to you. I'm Bob Newbanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye bye, everybody.